products reviewed in this video were given as a sample for the purpose of conducting a review. Our opinions are true, honest, and only influenced by the voices in our heads. Hey everybody, it's Casper Kills and Madman. We're here to talk about the Low Resistance 306 Atomizer and Drip Tip. We received these from ElixirLiquid.com and I gotta say I'm digging the 306. It is a really awesome little hot little unit. Um, I got it on my Omega at three, you know, 3.7. I got the Ego. It is a nice little unit. Um, it's very reminiscent of a cigarette in the way that it, in the way that you use it. You take shorter uh, pulls off of it, so and it gets hotter. So to me, it, it reminds me a lot of a cigarette. Um, you do have to keep it extra, you know, you gotta pay attention, make sure you keep it wet. Um, if not, they will burn quickly. Uh, they get super hot really fast. You get great vapor, as you can see. You can see I'm just getting plumes and I'm just taking short little drags. It's really nice for that. Um, you do go through a lot more juice because it does get hotter and produces the vapor faster and so on and so forth. But, I mean, if that's what you're looking for in an atomizer, this is the way to go if you're using a 3.7. And on an Ego Bat, your standard Ego Bat, it makes a really, really small, compact unit. Um, it's great, you throw, the, you throw the cone on it, you just have a little bit sticking out. It's uh, very pleasing to the eye that way. It also provides a great deal of flavor for it being a low resistance atomizer. I know I've tried a few different ones and they cook the flavor a little bit. This one doesn't seem to do that. It seems to provide the flavor and uh, the vapor at the same time. Okay, this is the low resistance 306 atomizer that you will get. As you can see, it comes with a cover on it, which is really hard to get off. So what you're going to want to do is actually attach it to a 510 battery and then pull it off so it'll come off easier. Once you do, you'll see that you do have an exposed bridge on this. Let's see if you can see that. The actual atomizer is still down inside here. The coil itself is down in here, but the bridge itself is exposed. You'll have to order the drip tip separate. And you have to have a drip tip for this, or else it won't work. You're going to slide it on, and it is a really tight fit. You want to slide it all the way down, make sure it comes down to the brass. And it actually gives you a pretty tight seal. Now, once you do that, you're ready to drip and start to use. Uh, do know that if you do not keep it wet, you will burn your atomizer. We're going to show you a shot of this. This is one that we already destroyed by accident. It's really easy to damage them if you don't keep them wet. I cannot stress enough keeping the atomizer wet on these. So now that we're ready, we're going to add a little bit of juice here. And what's really nice is with these clear tips, you will actually be able to see the liquid pool. And then I always blow it down, and you'll see it come down and make contact with the bridge, and you'll be able to watch the bridge soak it up, so you'll be able to actually monitor how moist the bridge is. As you can see, it's down there, and give it just a minute, and the bridge will soak that right up. Now let's go to bake. If you don't mind the extra, the extra uh, juice you're going to use, that is cool. It is a good little device. Um, it took a little warming up on it for me. Like I said, it is. You do have to do more maintenance on it, you know, as far as making sure it stays wet. But all in all, it is. It is a very good bake. Mmm. And you get it just great. I mean, I don't know of any other atomizer that produces this amount of vapor this quickly on a 3.7. 
I really dig the 306 low resistance. Uh, if y'all want to go ahead and get some, click elixirliquid.com in the link below. Of course, uh, as always, vape on.